You probably know that both your genes and your life habits uh, together really determine how healthy you are. Uh, basically, we've added a level of complexity to this. From what we've seen in mice, it looks like the genes of the people you interact with also affect your health. If the genes of our partners are such that they express particular traits to care for, for us, they, they have a good eye for when, when, we are, when we are sick, when we are unwell mentally or, or physically, and in these cases they, they, they took very good care of us, that will help our health and improve our um, well-being. And that is one example of how the genes in our partners aff affect us directly. Let's say we're looking at two uh, individuals, one of which is a morning person and the other one is a night owl. If the night owl keeps the morning person awake, it might be because of the genes of the night owl. So the way this works is that the genes of the night owl control the sleeping pattern of this individual. And, and this sleeping pattern in turn affects the health of the morning person. So there is an indirect effect between the genes of the night owl and the health of the morning person. We surveyed all of these traits and found some candidates we would have expected. For example, anxiety is a typical example. We know already from human studies that there is a strong social component to anxiety. But there were also some prizes we didn't think about at all. And one of these examples is wound healing. We found that the healing process, the speed, the rate at which a mouse can heal is affected by a social environment. And that did really surprise us. That's not what we've thought designed. We have found a new kind of genetic associations and we really want to use uh, these associations to try and understand the mechanisms whereby people influence each other. And eventually we hope uh, this means we can uh, better inform patients and doctors on the role of the social environment in health and disease. One of the most important aspects is that by just knowing which traits have a social component, which traits, which diseases are affected by our social environment, we might learn more about these diseases. For example, doctors may, may be aware in the future that particular disorders are strongly affected by the social environment and that can help for diagnosis or, or maybe helping people who are affected by those. So this is how we, we see this in the future.